Alright. How's it going, people? So, let me show you something. MC6 with a Woody Master connected right here. And power is coming off of uh, my computer's USB. So, take the under, look down there. So, what's happening here is different. If I were to depower this and maybe repower, I'll bet you this Woody Master would talk to this Woody Master down here, direct, and everything would be cool and working. But what's happening right now with this, and it's going to be the exercise of this video, that there, what I'm actually doing is running the Morningstar to the iPad, and then from the iPad down to the HX Stomp over there. And in software, what I'm using here is Audio Bus 3, I have to make two different connections. When you've got two Woody Masters set up, you need to attach one first, let it fall into slave mode. Bring it into the iPad using a picker, like this. You'll get Woody Master. You then want to go and get another Woody Master done, and that will come up as both being identical, which can be confusing. Now they're going to work on that and get it sorted so that you can name it. Inside the app, you'll come up with Woody 2 and Woody Master. And you have to think of these as two separate cables and connect them. Doing that, you're basically putting a two-way connection in, putting a two-way connection out, and you're telling this, this is the actual job of a Woody Master, the master job is saying that goes there and this goes here and traffic should flow. Blah, blah, blah. So remember that. Audio Bus 3, I'll put links in the description for it. Now, to control this remotely, I'm still working on this and you can see the notes are still visible. What Onsung is doing is Onsung is talking to the MC6. The MC6 is then talking through the iPad over there to yonder HX stomp. And here's the fun bit with this. I did a video and I'll put that in the links if you click on it. For how to control the MC6 remotely. So consider this another MIDI controller. And if I start whacking buttons here, you'll see down there under the iPad. Fairly quick now. Yeah. But the signal path is this is sending a release button. So this action down here, this is the really groovy bit about this remote control. So that's a press, that is a release. On the release, it changes signal. You can see there. On the release, it changes signal. Okay. Can't hold it too long. That would be a click press and release. There you go. That's what's like. So, the iPad, you can send a MIDI CC with a value, and the values will correspond to nothing, press, release. It's all there in the manual with me. Put seven. Go look it up. So, you can send the behaviors. So, instead of doing a tap, tap, release or you know tap long hold release you can just send it straight here <clears throat> from any other controller you can do that that might even be faster who knows than doing the tap tap here because it's just one button <clears throat> sorry so that is working and the big deal here is if you change banks and start bapping away. You'll see the screen down there, maybe, is changing. Or bring up the tuner. Take away the tuner. So those six buttons, or whatever these six buttons are, 
and the behaviors you select are the ones that will go. So I have to change everything to release. I've actually found a lot of stuff. Since this was the first controller I ever got and the first experiments I ever did, a lot of stuff that wasn't tidied up and neatened up. So I'm just taking the opportunity with 3.7 to change all that. So you see it. Totally wireless connection. This needs battery, that needs battery, that can stay there. These two things can now go downstairs and I can practice down there, driving everything up here. So that is your present. Only way to do a point to multi point is to go bridging through the iPad. Let's give this a shot and see what happens now if I depower. Hopefully. I will connect this back up and it won't work because that's in master and it shouldn't override the connection between the iPad and that thing. So, in theory, nothing here should work. Sooner, good. Sooner, good. And nothing is working now. And I have to go and re-establish the connections. Before I do that, let me just do something cool. I'm going to detach on the ASIC phone. Reattach. Now that should be master. It should pick this one up. Boom, there you go. Tuna working. So that for me was seriously gonna be what I wanted to have happen. Because I'm using an iPad all the time for much more complicated stuff than sending music and all that. This is still usually the brain, but it's nowhere near as fast as this direct connection. So in the event of a total failure, like this thing dies or gets smashed or whatever, no big deal. Repower these two buttons and everything's working. I thought that's pretty cool. So very cool stuff. MC6, you guys are seriously rocking it. Bum, bum, bum. Really, 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 really cool chains. Digging it. So yeah, check out the Woody Masters. They're very cool, very long range, and they go a long way. Just this ability to now sit off with my iPad, program stuff from here with you know the. MC6, which can sit over there on the couch or stay up here or whatever. I can now see all that remotely. I can run all that remotely. I could even just go downstairs with this and drive the whole rig. Pair of wazoo ears in and not bothering anybody. I can hang out on the porch. Massive goal to realize. Check y'all tomorrow.